are talking about making your own soap at home. Stay tuned. Now, Kathy is going to be making some soap. Yeah, it's a homegrown idea for something you might not think possible, actually, and that is making soap right in your own kitchen. Yep. Kathy Johnson's been doing it for 15 years. Yep. She's with Farm Made Soap. She's going to run us through the process. And first of all, you have me put on gloves and glasses. And I think, is this really necessary, Kathy? It is totally necessary because we want to make sure that we protect our hands and our eyes from the one ingredient that is necessary for all soap to be made, and that is sodium hydroxide. So we really want to make sure that we're safe with that. So do you want to yep. just jump, yes. jump right in? Yes, so we have six ingredients here, and this is going to result in a bar of peppermint soap. Yes, it won't look exactly like our farm-made soap bar, but, you know, it'll be a nice natural soap for at home that people can make. All right, what is this ingredient right there? So this is palm and coconut oil, and they're both sustainably sourced, and they, I've melted them, and they're ready to go for us. And you melt them how? Um, you can do it in the microwave or on a stovetop. It doesn't matter. Either way is great. Okay, and then... Do we add all these to this? Yeah, we're going to start with this. So if you can grab this right here. This is our fresh goat's milk. We're going to pour it right into our sodium hydroxide. Just dump it right in there. Before I do, why goat's milk in the cheese? In the, I'm sorry, soap? I, you know what? Because I'm thinking about cheese. Yep, we get that cheese. all the time. <laughs> so the goat's milk provides about 50 nutrients that are good for your skin. And really? That provides, yep, vitamin A and alpha hydroxy. So then we're just going to go ahead and give this a quick stir. You want to stir that for me? Sure. All right. And stir that up. Boy, it's turning orange. It is turning orange, and that is from the natural sugar that's in milk, causes it to turn orange. Right, we're oh, going to wow, give that one, crazy. one more quick stir here, real fast. <laughs> she takes over for I know. <laughs> Sorry. I love it, Kathy. It's the mama seven, you know. Yeah. All right, so then we're going to just pour this right into our um, base oils that we have there. And you want to give that a stir now? There? Sure, sure. I'll go faster this time. There you go. Yeah. All okay. right, so stir that all up. We're going to grab our non GMO soy oil here and pour that in as well. We're going to stir this just until it's about, let me just see it for a second, until it's about the thickness of, um, of like thin pudding, like, okay. pie, like pie filling mm -hmm. pudding. Okay, you keep stirring. Okay. And then this is some peppermint essential oil. Boy, that was just a tiny bit. It this is. Big batch, you, know, huh? it's, you know, it doesn't take much with, with essential oils. This Ooh, has, I smell it. It's, I know, great for the holidays, yeah? yeah? Okay, and then this is some peppermint leaves that we've just taken out of a couple of tea bags. See mm -hmm. how that is thickening right up there? So you get a peppermint tea bag and extract the leaves from it. Yeah, we just I cut like it that. open. Yeah. All right, see how that's nice and viscous? Let me go ahead yes, and take that from you for a second. -like. Yep. yep. All right, now we are just going to pour this right into our molds here real quick. And mold is simply like a Tupperware container. It does. That works great for at home. Of course, at the shop, you know, we use nice big molds with uh -huh. the size batches that we make. So then we're just going to set this to the side for about 24 to 48 hours. Then you can unmold it and you'll have this little block of natural soap here that's so nice and hard already. Just by sitting there like that. Yep. And then you'll be able to cut it into like usable size bars about like this, like our black raspberry vanilla bar. And you know, farm made soap is great for all skin, like this, like our little soap pile that we have here. Yeah, I was wondering, it's, it's not drying to the it skin. It is not drying. It's great for all skin types, but mm -hmm. it's super good for people that have dry skin um, or sensitive skin. And you know, it makes my heart super happy when people who Gosh, when they have like eczema or psoriasis, acne issues, when they tell us how our soap helps their skin. They're able to use it. Yeah, this. that just makes my heart go so pitter patter. If I don't have the patience to do this in my own kitchen, where do I find farm made soap? You can find us at um, farmmadesoap.com, of course, and that is Easy made. Easy enough. That is made like a girl, M A I D, or at local discoveries on Alberta or at the Vancouver Farmers Market. All right, and you slipped something in there, I have to ask. Seven kids? Seven kids. All right. Happy holidays. All right. Thank you, you so much. <laughs> we'll be back. Sounds in just good. A minute. <laughs>